Welcome to the cutting-edge world of AI and high-performance computing, where speed, power, and efficiency are not just aspirations, but necessities. At the forefront of this technological race stands NVIDIA, a name synonymous with groundbreaking GPUs and a titan in the gaming and AI industries. NVIDIA's processors are the unsung heroes behind some of today's most advanced tech applications. They empower everything from breathtaking graphics in gaming to the complex computations of AI systems like ChatGPT, setting new benchmarks in innovation and performance. But recently, this tech giant has taken a turn that might appear baffling at first glance. Known for their blistering speeds and unparalleled performance, NVIDIA is now making headlines for doing something entirely different. It starts producing low-performing chips. Why would a company, celebrated for pushing the boundaries of performance, choose to downscale its technology? Is this a strategic retreat, a compromise, or a bold new direction? This decision, it turns out, is about more than just chips and technology. Before we get there, let's take a quick look at NVIDIA's past to understand its pivotal role in the AI revolution. Founded in 1993, NVIDIA started as a small company with big ambitions. It quickly made a name for itself in the world of graphics processing units or GPUs. But what initially began as a venture aimed at transforming the gaming world soon evolved into something much larger. Over the years, NVIDIA's GPUs have become the backbone of artificial intelligence. The flagship products, like the A100 and H100 GPUs, have set industry standards for high-performance computing and AI workloads. Their unparalleled ability to execute multiple calculations simultaneously through parallel processing makes them exceptionally suited for the complex tasks of AI. This capability has not only launched NVIDIA to the forefront of the AI revolution, but has also established them as a leader in the sector. In a remarkable show of dominance over the past two years, NVIDIA has quadrupled its AI chip revenue, skyrocketing from $2.4 billion to over $10 billion, according to data compiled by Visual Capitalist. This growth starkly contrasts with Intel, the former market leader, which experienced a revenue decline from approximately $6 billion to $4 billion, marking a decrease of over 30%. Meanwhile, AMD remains a distant third, with revenues hovering around $1 billion. The New York Times reports that NVIDIA now controls an impressive 70% of the AI chip market share. This business triumph has echoed through the stock market, with NVIDIA's stock price soaring to more than five-fold since late 2020. In the same period, AMD's stock price witnessed a 137% rise, while Intel faced a downturn, with a loss exceeding 30%. Come June 2023, amidst the surging AI boom, NVIDIA's market capitalization breached the $1 trillion threshold, propelling the company into the elite trillion-dollar club, alongside tech giants such as Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, and Amazon. But NVIDIA's journey has not been without challenges. As they continue to push the boundaries of technology, they must navigate a world where geopolitical dynamics play a crucial role in business strategies. At the heart of NVIDIA's strategic shift lies a growing tug of war between two superpowers, the United States and China. For years, the US and China have been engaged in a complex tech rivalry in areas like 5G, quantum computing, biotechnology, and green energy. This rivalry also extends to the realm of artificial intelligence, a field both countries see as crucial to future economic and strategic dominance. In October 2022, in a significant move, the Biden administration imposed strict export controls on high-performance chips to China. This was part of a broader strategy to constrain China's AI development and maintain U.S. technological supremacy. These sanctions specifically targeted NVIDIA's high-end GPUs, like the A100 and H100, crucial for large language models, the technology that underpins chatbots such as OpenAI's breakthrough ChatGPT. 
In the words of Secretary of Commerce Gina Raimondo, the goal is the same goal that it's always been, which is to limit PRC access to advanced semiconductors that could fuel breakthroughs in artificial intelligence and sophisticated computers that are critical to PRC military applications. The U.S. sanctions presented NVIDIA with a critical challenge. The burgeoning Chinese AI chip market, valued at $7 billion, is a battlefield NVIDIA cannot afford to retreat from. With a commanding 90% market share in China, NVIDIA's stakes are incredibly high. This market is not just vast, it's highly competitive. NVIDIA contends with formidable rivals including Huawei that are rapidly advancing their AI chip technology, aiming to fill any voids and challenge NVIDIA's supremacy. Huawei's Ascend AI chips, for example, are making significant inroads within China's tech landscape. The surge from these domestic contenders underscores the strategic importance of NVIDIA's uninterrupted presence in China. It's a stronghold that secures their global influence. Even a brief absence could see their hard-earned market share erode almost instantly. Anticipating the potential crossfire of the tech war between the US and China, NVIDIA's reaction to the sanctions was swift and strategic. They introduced the A800 and H800 chips, lower-performing yet market-specific alternatives that cleverly skirted the threshold of US sanctions while catering to the critical needs of the Chinese market. This shrewd move by NVIDIA was met with an eager response from China's technology powerhouses. Industry titans, including TikTok's parent company, ByteDance, Alibaba, Baidu, and Tencent, were quick to place substantial orders totaling $5 billion for these chips. Then came October 2023, with the US government tightening the restrictions further, curtailing the export of the A800 and H800 models. NVIDIA's playbook remained unchanged. In a rapid pivot, they unveiled three new chips, the H20, L20, and L2, each deliberately calibrated to meet the new export control standards while still serving China's insatiable appetite for AI technology. In this high-stakes game, NVIDIA's agility is as commendable as it is strategic. By crafting chips specifically for the Chinese market, NVIDIA has managed to defend its turf in the global AI chip arena ensuring continued engagement in a key technological sector. However, this dance on a tightrope comes with potential repercussions. The U.S. sanctions could serve as a catalyst for China to accelerate its own chip industry, striving to become self-sufficient and reduce reliance on foreign firms like NVIDIA. As the tug-of-war over technology supremacy continues, the real test will unfold in the long run. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up, share with your network, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in the next video.